Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's excellent to have you here as always. You're watching the VSO Gun Channel. Thank you for watching. Uh, I am sick, so if uh, I say weird things, slur my words, snarl all over the place, spit all over the place, I'm sorry in advance, I cannot control myself today. That said, uh, this is supposed to be a relatively short video. Uh, I got that backwards actually. It's supposed to be a subordinate video for tomorrow's video, so in relative comparison, it's going to be a relatively short video here today. Uh, I was going to release it simultaneously with tomorrow's video, but YouTube really hates that, so uh, here we are. Now, quick bookkeeping. We're talking about this holster here today, and it is by Mission First Tactical. Mission First Tactical offers uh, you guys a pretty hefty discount if you use my affiliate code. And that is, again, an affiliate code, so it generates commission back to the channel. So if you're shopping for stuff that you're going to buy anyway and you use my code, then it helps the channel out. Thank you very much. Uh, that said, this is their Pro Series holster, and on first glance, it just looks like a light bearing kydex holster but you'll notice that this is a light bearing holster and in it i have a gun that is currently not light bearing as in this is a light bearing holster that does not lock up on the light and it also does not lock up on the frame and to illustrate that i have chosen a non glock brand glock and this is an off brand glock it does not lock on the light does not lock on the frame does not lock on the slide but when you put it in here you'll hear that little click what it actually locks up on is there there is a strut and i will uh, give you guys a close-up so you guys can see that it goes down the barrel a certain percentage to guide the barrel into place and then the front face of the barrel contacts a very strong neodymium magnet that holds it into place and to illustrate that we'll go ahead and put this in here and vigorous I told you that I was sick, and it's not just that I have a head cold. Uh, that said, if we look at the overview of what all is bolted onto this thing, uh, I've actually taken some uh, pieces and parts off of it for a configuration with tomorrow's subject matter. Uh, normally it has uh, two of these clips on there and then uh, these struts here, and that's really important in my opinion because uh, what these struts do is they actually put tension on your belt when it's worn inside the waistband and it presses the gun into your belly meat so that it will basically suck up against you. Those struts are really important. Uh, it is fully ambidextrous so you can see for instance here we have where it attaches on this side and if we reflect it slightly you can see where it's supposed to go and those act as drain and vent holes uh, when they're not being soaked up by uh, hardware. <laughs> now, the other thing here, you can see that this is a fully open bottomed holster so that it allows any debris to fall out, um, any drainage to happen as necessary. And then if we look over here, this is a exposed magazine release design. So if you're doing any of those drills where you have to put the holster back in, because you have the simulated wounded hand. Uh, you can put the firearm back in the holster, initiate the uh, magazine release with your good hand, load it, do all the things that you can do without being impeded by the holster. So uh, I am half dozen of one, uh, six of another, as far as the uh, whether that should be fully shrouded or not. I'm totally cool with them having uh, set this up for fully exposed. It also has considerations for raised suppressor sights. So you can see there's plenty of relief there in the sight channel for uh, raised suppressor sights. And there is a sizable chunk missing out here for those of you who want to run. Uh, this is a Glock 19, so that would be the MOS guns will totally be accommodated by uh, that space there if you want to run a pistol mounted optic high sweat guard that runs up both sides again fully ambidextrous as mentioned previously and the last feature that i'm going to show you guys here today is very simplistic in its application but surprisingly i never thought about this before right on the side of the holster is labeled what gun it fits and what light it bears and this again may seem simplistic or uh, rudimentary to many of you. However, if you observed my holster selection process before going to the range, uh, you would find it quite inefficient. This literally says what it goes to, and therefore it is not a guess and check for about 20 minutes trying to figure out what freaking holster fits the gun. 
I suppose, uh, having never thought of this before, I just need to go back and get out the engraving gun and write it on the side of the holster. I don't know why I never thought about that before, but thank you to Mission First Tactical for uh, basically putting that bug in my ear. Let's go shoot some pepper poppers. And go. Somebody ought to really paint those pepper poppers. <laughs> excuses, excuses. Uh, we'll finish the mag out with the uh, with the auto poppers. Thanks for joining us here today on the VSO Gun Channel, and hopefully we'll see you on another video here soon. Tomorrow, right? Thank you.